A look at whether the extreme heat will cause trouble for the Texas Summer Games in Brownsville this weekend. And a recent softball tournament in McAllen is being considered a grand slam for the city and event organizers. CBS 4 Valley this weekend starts now. Live from the Rio Grande Valley, this is CBS 4 News. Working for you, weekend edition. Good afternoon, Valley, and thank you for joining us on CBS 4 News this weekend. I am Frank McCaffrey, in for Jeremiah Marshall. We begin today with the latest out of McAllen, where an investigation is underway after police say a man led them on a chase and was then found with a gunshot wound to the head. Overnight, police were called to the 2900 block of North 24th Street. The caller telling police Ronaldo Avila had a gun and was being aggressive. Avila left the scene in a maroon charger. And July is winding down. Now, is the heat winding down? Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale has answers. Oh, no, we're in the thick <laughs> of it, and that's where we're going to stay. High pressure's coming back to rule the roost. 2024 presidential race is heating up with several Republican candidates stumping in Iowa this weekend. Former President Donald Trump held a rally in Pennsylvania, and even as he faces federal charges, the frontrunner is urging his opponents to drop out. Bradley Blackburn reports. Brian, the games of Texas are underway in Brownsville this weekend, but as with most events taking place outdoors, there is concern about the heat. Brownsville Fire and EMS crews are stationed at different venues around the city to care for athletes as well as spectators. First responders are able to treat patients affected by the heat on site. If anyone requires extensive care, crews are also equipped to transport them to a medical facility immediately. Water stations are set up around the ground so people can stay hydrated. The city has also set up a cooling tent with air conditioning units to help beat the heat. Now, Brownsville Fire Chief Jared Sheldon says personnel are being proactive and not just waiting for people to seek out assistance. And now those Toros were looking good. Yeah, the Toros, five goals at home, and they've been struggling at home all season, so a good sign there for Toros fans as they're now only a point back in the standings for a playoff spot. Not bad at all. Is the yeah. forecast going to be not bad at all? That's the question. How about the local kids having to deal with all the heat? Good evening, Valley, and thank you for joining us on CBS 4 Valley this weekend. I'm Frank McCaffrey in for Jeremiah Marshall. At this hour, the search continues for Juan Chavez Carrillo. That is the 86-year-old San Benito man missing since July 18th. He was last seen near his home riding a bike. Police continue investigating Carrillo's disappearance as officers search near his home and in some high-traffic areas nearby. Today, more family are helping in the search. Family members from across the country have come together to look in some more rural parts of town. The group set out with a map showing where police have not yet looked, searching fields and resacas. We begin with an update to a story we've been following for you. Cameron County sheriffs have named a suspect in a July 25th murder in Laguna Heights. As a result of an extensive investigation, investigators identified the suspect as 41-year-old Jacobo Hernandez. Seen here on Tuesday, deputies discovered the lifeless body of 27-year-old Christopher James De Leon on the 200 block of Adams Street. He had gunshot wounds in his body. The investigation has included the use of surveillance video and witness statements, and it's ongoing. Brownsville PD is asking for your help in locating a man wanted for aggravated robbery using a screwdriver. The man is alleged to have threatened a clerk with the tool, even chasing the clerk around in the store. This in an incident on July 12th at a stripes on Padre Island Highway. An 11-year-old Florida girl is in juvenile detention after she admitted to filing a fake kidnapping report. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office says the girl called 911 claiming her friend was kidnapped by a man in a white van. The girl even texted updates with a suspect description and said he had a gun. When deputies arrived, she confessed it was a prank based off a YouTube challenge. She's now facing multiple charges. And guess what? It is still <laughs> July. Know, Meteorologist right? Jim Danner joins us in the Weather Center with what's feeling like an eternally hot forecast. Jim? It's going on way too long. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like this is, you know, July is supposed to be hot. After years of making fans wait and a sea of politics, welterweights Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford are fighting this evening in Las Vegas. Now, Blake, this is a very tough one to predict. I'm going to say Crawford in a late round knockout. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go with the underdog with Spence tonight and wow. maybe a late round. I've been seeing a lot of predictions saying that he might have a chance in this one if it goes late. So, you know what? I'm going to go with the underdog. Now, do I'm, you not, I'm not informed enough to, to so I'll, be, I'll just say it'll be a tie. I'll, I'll say it's good. I'm going to make a prediction that's going to be hot in your forecast. There you 